یا یو الدین آمن لا تحل شاعر اللہ او یو ہو پی او یو او یو ہو بلیو ڈونٹ وائلیٹ دی سینکٹی آف دی سمبلز اینڈ ایمبلنس آف اللہ وٹ آر شاعر سم تھنگ ریمائنڈز یو آف سم تھنگ وین یو آر گوئنگ یو نو راؤنڈ دی سفا اینڈ مروا دی اسٹوری آف حضرت حاجرا اینڈ ہس مائل کمس ٹو یو to your mind it is reminding you of that story so these are shair allah when you are praying behind the stone you know that maqam ibrahim now ibrahim alayhi salam comes to your mind so these things you know which remind you something which is very much uh, liked by allah subhanahu wa ta'ala these things become shair allah shair from shur which gives you consciousness of something which relates to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala This book is the biggest shaira. This is the biggest among the shaira of Allah, this Quran. It gives you the consciousness, consciousness of Allah. It gives you the reminding of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. La tuhillu. Don't violate the sanctity of the emblems or the symbols of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wala shara al-haram. And also don't violate the sacred month. These sacred months in Arabia, that was the custom, you know, that no fighting during these sacred months. Why? these were the months of pilgrimage and one month was for umrah so people used to go to kaaba for pilgrimage so these were the months of peace no fighting no attacking of any caravan and they observed these rules the muslims are also here ordained that don't violate the sanctity walal hadiya and also the animals who are being taken for the sacrifice they also become shairullah because now they are going there to be sacrificed near kaaba wal qalaid and the animals in whose necks there are garlands they were also a symbol that these are you know for sacrifice wala min al bait al haram and also people who are going towards baitullah the sacred house they also become shairullah because when you see a person in the ihram what does it mean he is going towards the, the house of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala this also becomes sacred so don't interrupt their ways don't obstruct their ways don't tease them don't inflict them with any injury ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu la la tuhillu sha'ir allah wa la shahr al haram wa la al hadiya wa la al qalaid wa la amin al bait al haram yabtaguna fadlan min rabbihim wa rizwana why are they going to kaaba they want they seek the bounty of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala they are taking all the trouble of this journey why to seek the bounty of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his pleasure rizwana wa iza halaltum fastadu when you are out of ihram when you have done away with ihram that robes are no, no more on you all the conditions have been fulfilled then you can go and, and hunt again you can you know go and head a hunting game you know and you can have animals so that you can to use them as your food wala yadamannakum sharanu qaumin ala ala an saddukum anil masjid al haram and let not the enmity or hatred of a nation because they obstructed your way for such long time and they didn't allow you to go to baitullah now this is what is it relating to the quraish of bakka for seven long years muslims couldn't go for umrah or for hajj so actually now there must be a, a you know sentiments of revenge in the in the people after all they were human beings but allah subhanahu wa ta'ala no it doesn't become of you you are the bondsman of allah you have to be a model for all of humanity now don't have any revengeful feeling any vengeance against them wala wala yadrimannakum shana'anu qaumin the enmity or hatred that you have of about that nation an saddukum anil masjid al haram that they obstructed your way they prevented you from going to masjid al haram an ta'tadu that you also transgress no it's not becoming a few wa ta'amanu wal birri wat taqwa it's the general golden rule you must help each other you must assist each other in all the things which are for virtue for virtue and taqwa 
if if, if someone stands i am i want to go do this work and this work is virtuous work good work good in the eyes of allah subhanahu wa taala well help him you must cooperate taawun you know taawun wal birr wat taqwa whatever is virtuous and whatever has you know that taqwa in it the fear of allah the consciousness of allah regard for allah in all such matters you must cooperate with each other wala taawun wal ism wal udwan but don't cooperate among in those things which which imply a sin or transgression against anybody without any right there you don't cooperate although it might be your own nation although it might be your own tribe your own family your own clan but if they are transgressing they are doing something wrong you can't cooperate with them you have to cooperate with whatever is just whatever is true whatever is virtuous whatever has the taqwa in it but you can't cooperate in any other things inna allah shadidul iqab verily allah subhanahu wa taala is very stern in punishment shadidul iqab he is rauf he is rahim he is wadud but he is also muntaqim he takes revenge he is shadidul iqab and he is very stern in punishment both these things must be kept in mind